Meantime, back here at home, United Airlines is looking to reassure passengers following a series of troubling incidents involving its Boeing manufactured jets. In a letter to customers, the company's CEO writing, safety is our highest priority. NBC senior correspondent Tom Costello covers aviation for us and joins us from Reagan National Airport. Tom, good morning. Walk us through exactly what happened. There's been a lot in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, quite a few incidents, and of course, uh, right in the middle of spring break and the getaway. So this is top of mind for a lot of people. We've had these incidents over the last month, United trying to reassure its customers. Let's remind you of some of them. We begin with that incident uh, out of Houston, a 737 United flight started seeing fire coming out of the back of an engine. It appears to have been either an engine stall or a back fire from that engine, a compressor stall. Not at all unusual. The plane landed safely. Then we had the flight from San Francisco taking off and lost a tire higher on takeoff. It was headed to Japan, you may recall. It then made an emergency landing in Los Angeles. The tire fell on a bunch of cars below, damaging several of the cars. We had that 737 that slid off the runway in Houston, you may recall. Uh, people there inconvenienced, but everybody's safe on that flight that landed in Houston. Then the flight coming out of Sydney, Australia, back to the States. They had to turn around mid-flight because of what appears to have been a hydraulic leak, a uh, fluid coming out of the bottom of the plane. The plane landed safely in Sydney. That was a 777. And then just last week, we had a 737, another one, landing in Medford, Oregon, with a panel missing on the underside of the plane. Uh, no idea of what happened there, but the plane landed safely in Medford, Oregon. In all of these incidents, everybody was safe. Nobody was injured at all, but it really has caused United Airlines to want to reassure customers it takes all of this very seriously, and it is doubling down on safety. Here's what United CEO Scott Kirby is telling to telling passengers in an email that he sent out. Number one, he is reiterating that they uh, are all, all of these incidents are unrelated. There's no connective thread through them necessarily. And yet, he says, they have sharpened their focus. United adding an extra day to pilot training, also updating training for new mechanics, dedicating more resources to supplier network management and, and also uh, really trying to double down on the entire maintenance scheme. These incidents not, are not necessarily a manufacturing problem with Boeing. They all would seem to be the connective tissue, if there is any, seems to be maintenance at United Airlines. They're trying to double down on that. Back to you. So, Tom, just put this in perspective quickly. You cover this every day. You just walk through so many incidents. How are people at home supposed to feel about flying right now? Yeah, you know, these are, I, I know it's hard to hear this, but these are all apparently one-offs. In other words, an isolated case here, an isolated case there. There's nothing to connect them other than uh, maintenance issues. And so that's why United is doubling down. Listen, in 2023, we had not a single jet aircraft, commercial jet airliner crash anywhere in the world. That's amazing. That was the safest year ever for aviation. The last time we had a jetliner, a U.S. jetliner crash in this country was in 2009. Aviation is incredibly safe, uh, and yet these incidents really do reinforce and reiterate for the airlines the need to constantly be on your game every single day. And United says it's doubling down on exactly that. Important context there. Tom Costello in Washington, thank you so much. And a programming note for you here. Lister Holt is going to have an exclusive interview with the head of the FAA addressing the ongoing airline safety concerns. You can see their conversation tonight on NBC Nightly News, of course. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.